Today I wanted to bring everybody the untold story of Abraham and Isaac. Now this is taken from the book of Jasher, which I am reading. And I don't know if it's true, but it is very amazing and I want to share it because a lot of elements of it I feel like give richness to the story and can be inspirational. Now this is the account of Abraham and Isaac when Abraham is asked by the Lord to sacrifice Isaac. And so we're going to jump in to the story out of the book of Jasher, starting with the chapter 22 here. And the verse numbers are also in the paragraphs. As the Lord liveth, the God of my father Abraham, if the Lord should say unto my father, Take now thy son Isaac and bring him up an offering before me, I would not refrain, but I would joyfully accede to it. This is Isaac talking to Ishmael. Because Ishmael says, Look at me, I, I was, I'm so amazing. I let Abraham circumcise me, and that was such a great sacrifice. So Isaac responds in turn, saying, I would that my father would give me up as a burnt offering if I if he so desired it or if, if God so willed it. And it's very interesting because that's going to be what ends up happening. So I guess watch what you say. And the Lord heard the word that Isaac spoke to Ishmael, and it seemed good in the sight of the Lord. And he thought to try Abraham in this matter. And the day arrived when the sons of God came and placed themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with the sons of God before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said to Satan, What is thy word to me concerning all the children of the earth? And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee and remember thee when they require anything from thee. And when thou givest them the thing which they require from thee, they sit at their ease and forsake thee, and they remember thee no more. Hast thou seen Abraham the son of Terah, who at first had no children, and he served thee? And erected altars to thee wherever he came and he brought up offerings upon them and he proclaimed thy name continually to all the children of the earth and now that his son Isaac is born to him he has forsaken thee he has made a great feast for all the inhabitants of the land and the Lord he has forgotten for amidst all that he has done, he brought thee no offering, neither burnt offering nor peace offering, neither ox, lamb, nor goat of all that he killed on the day that his son was weaned. Even from the time of his son's birth till now, being thirty-seven years, he built no altar before thee, nor brought any offering to thee, for he saw that thou didst give what he requested before thee. And he therefore forsook thee. And the Lord said to Satan, Hast thou thus considered my servant Abraham? For there is none like him upon earth, a perfect and an upright man before me, one that feareth God and avoideth evil, as I live, where I to say unto him, Bring up Isaac thy son before me, he would not withhold him from me. Much more if I told him to bring up a burnt offering before me from his flock or herds. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Speak then now unto Abraham, as thou hast said, and thou wilt see whether he will not this day transgress and cast aside thy words. So Abraham, is, it's almost like Job's experience. It's very interesting. So the Lord commands Abraham to do exactly what he had mentioned to Satan, that he would have Abraham take his son 
Isaac, his covenant-born son, and sacrifice him as a burnt offering. And so Abraham prepares for this journey. And whilst Abraham was proceeding with his son Isaac along the road, Satan came and appeared to Abraham in the figure of a very aged man, humble and of contrite spirit. And he approached Abraham and said to him, Art thou silly or brutish that thou goest to do this thing this day to thine only son? For God gave thee a son in thy latter days, in thy old age. And wilt thou go and slaughter him this day because he committed no violence? And wilt thou cause the soul of thine only son to perish from the earth? Dost thou not know and understand that the thing cannot be from the Lord? For the Lord cannot do unto man such evil upon the earth to say to him, Go slaughter thy child. And Abraham heard this and knew that it was the word of Satan, who endeavored to draw him aside from the way of the Lord. But Abraham would not hearken to the voice of Satan, and Abraham rebuked him so that he went away. And Satan returned and came to Isaac, and he appeared unto Isaac in the figure of a young man, comely and well favored. And he approached Isaac and said unto him, Dost thou not know and understand that thy old silly father bringeth thee to the slaughter this day for naught? Now therefore, my son, do not listen nor attend to him, for he is a silly old man, and let not thy precious soul and beautiful figure be lost from the earth. And Isaac heard this and said unto Abraham, Hast thou heard, my father, that which this man has spoken? Even thus has he spoken. And Abraham answered his son Isaac and said to him, Take heed of him, and do not listen to his words, nor attend to him. For he is Satan, endeavoring to draw us aside this day from the commands of God. And Abraham still rebuked Satan, and Satan went from them. And seeing he could not prevail over them, he hid himself from them. And he went and passed before them in the road, and he transformed himself to a large brook of water in the road. And Abraham and Isaac and his two young men reached that place, and they saw a brook large and powerful as the mighty waters. And they entered into the brook and passed through it, and the waters at first reached their legs, and then... They went deeper into the brook, and the waters reached up to their necks, and they were all terrified on account of the water. And while as they were going over the brook, Abraham recognized that the, the place, and he knew that there was no water there before. And, and Abraham said to his son Isaac, I know this place in which there was no brook nor water. Now therefore it is this Satan who does all this to us, to draw us aside this day from the commands of God. And Abraham rebuked him and said unto him, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, be gone from us, for we go by the commands of God. And Satan was terrified at the voice of Abraham, and he went away from them, and the place again became dry land as it was at first. And Abraham went with Isaac toward the place that God had told him. And on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place at a distance, which God had told him of. And a pillar of fire appeared to him that reached from the earth to heaven, and a cloud of glory upon the mountain. And the glory of the Lord was seen in the cloud. And Abraham said to Isaac, My son, dost thou see in that mountain? which we perceive at a distance, that which I see upon it. And Isaac answered and said unto his father, I see, and lo, a pillar of fire and a cloud, and the glory of the Lord is seen upon the cloud. And Abraham knew that his son Isaac was accepted before the Lord for a burnt offering. And Abraham said unto Eliezer and unto Ishmael, his son, which were his traveling companions, do you 
also see that which we see upon the mountain, which is at a distance? And they answered and said, We see nothing more than like the other mountains of the earth. And Abraham knew that they were not accepted before the Lord to go with them. And Abraham said to them, Abide ye here with the ass, whilst I and Isaac my son will go to yonder mount and worship there before the Lord, and then return to you. And Eliezer and Ishmael remained in that place, as Abraham had commanded. And Abraham took wood for a burnt offering and placed it upon his son Isaac. And he took the fire and the knife, and they both went to that place. And when they were going along, Isaac said to his father, Behold, I see here the fire and wood, and where then is the lamb that is to be the burnt offering before the Lord? And Abraham answered his son Isaac, saying, The Lord has made choice of thee, my son, to be a perfect burnt offering instead of the lamb. And Isaac said unto his father, I will do all that the Lord spoke to thee with joy and cheerfulness of heart. And Abraham again said unto Isaac his son, Is there in thy heart any thought or counsel concerning this, which is not proper? Tell me, my son, I pray thee. O my son, conceal it not from me. And Isaac answered his father Abraham and said unto him, O my father, as the Lord liveth and as I as thy soul liveth. There is nothing in my heart to cause me to deviate either to the right or to the left from the word that he has spoken to thee. Neither limb nor muscle has moved or stirred at this, nor is there in my heart any thought or evil counsel concerning this. But I am a joyful and cheerful heart in this matter, and I say, Blessed is the Lord who has this day chosen me to be a burnt offering before him. And Abraham greatly rejoiced at the words of Isaac, and they went on and came together to that place that the Lord has spoken of. And Abraham approached to build the altar in that place. And Abraham was weeping, and Isaac took stones and mortar until they had finished building and finished building the altar and Abraham took the wood and placed it in order upon the altar which he had built and he took his son Isaac and bound him in order to place him upon the wood which was upon the altar to slay him for a burnt offering before the Lord and Isaac said to his father bind me securely and then place me upon the altar, lest I should turn and move, and break loose from the force of the knife upon my flesh, and therefore profane the burnt offering. And Abraham did so. And Isaac still said to his father, O my father, when thou ha shalt have slain me, and burnt me for an offering, take with thee that which shall remain of my ashes, to bring to Sarah, my mother, and say to her, This is the sweet-smelling savor of Isaac, but do not tell her this if she should sit near a well or upon any high place, lest she should cast her soul after me and die. And Abraham heard the words of Isaac, and he lifted up his voice and wept when Isaac spake these words, and Abraham's tears gushed down upon Isaac his son. And Isaac wept bitterly, and he said to his father, Hasten thou, O my father, and do with me the will of the Lord our God, as he has commanded thee. And the hearts of Abraham and Isaac rejoiced at this thing which the Lord had commanded them. But the eye wept bitterly whilst the heart rejoiced. And Abraham bound his son Isaac and placed him on the altar upon the wood. And Isaac stretched forth his neck upon the altar before his father. And Abraham stretched forth his hand to take the knife to slay his son as a burnt offering. And at the time the angels of mercy came before the Lord and spake to him concerning Isaac, saying, O Lord, thou art merciful and compassionate King, 
over all that thou hast created in heaven and in earth, and thou supportest them all. Give, therefore, ransom and redemption instead of thy servant Isaac, and pity and have compassion upon Abraham and Isaac his son, who are this day performing thy commands. Hast thou seen, O Lord, how Isaac, the son of Abraham, thy servant, is bound down to the slaughter like an animal? Now, therefore, let thy pity be roused for them, O Lord. At that time the Lord appeared unto Abraham and called to him from heaven and said unto him, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything upon him, for now... I know that thou fearest God in performing this act, and in not withholding thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, a ram was caught in a thicket by his horns. That was the ram which the Lord God had created in the earth, in the day that he made the earth and heaven. For the Lord had prepared this ram from that day, to be a burnt offering instead of Isaac. And this ram was advancing to Abraham when Satan caught hold of him and entangled his horns in the thicket that he might not advance to Abraham in order that Abraham might slay his son. And Abraham, seeing the ram advancing to him and Satan withholding him, fetching him and brought him before the altar, and he loosened his son Isaac from his binding, and he put the ram in his stead. And Abraham killed the ram upon the altar and brought it up as an offering in place of his son Isaac. I hope you enjoyed this. It has some very interesting details and some interesting symbolism. For example, the ram that had been prepared from the foundation of the earth, I believe, it's really symbolic of Christ. I'm not sure that that ram had actually been there that long, but I think it was meant to be understood symbolically. I hope you enjoyed this.